Chapter 10, Freedom at Last. Within a week of D-Day, the separate Allied troops joined together in an unbroken line across Normandy. They marched eastward toward Germany. Still, nearly a year more of fighting in Europe lay ahead. In the weeks following D-Day, the Allies landed hundreds of thousands more troops and supplies. In less than a month, about 180,000 tons of supplies and 50,000 vehicles were unloaded at Omaha Beach. Winston Churchill called it the most difficult and complicated operation that has ever taken place. Just as amazing was how the ships landed. Normandy had no harbors or ports. The Allies had to make two harbors of their own and haul them to Normandy in pieces. Nothing like this had ever been done before. The makeshift harbors had about 12 miles of floating steel roadways. Breakwaters were made of giant concrete blocks sunk into the seafloor. Each block was five stories tall and weighed more than 6,000 tons. After three months of fighting, the Allies freed northern France. Then they marched ahead into Germany. Battle lines often formed at hedgerows, the thick banks of bushes that bordered farm fields. The Germans had dug rifle pits and machine gun tunnels behind many of these bushes. Fighting is from field to field and from hedgerow to hedgerow, wrote Staff Sergeant Bill Davidson in a field report. You rarely speak of advancing a mile in a single day. You say instead, we advanced 11 fields. Meanwhile, Soviet troops fought their way into Germany from the east. More of Hitler's horrors came to light as the troops pushed through Europe and freed millions from the Nazi death camps. The starving prisoners who had survived appeared as walking skeletons. Radio reporter Edward R. Murrow told his listeners, I reported what I saw and heard, but only part of it. For most of it, I have no words. Germany finally surrendered on May 7, 1945, 11 months after D-Day. Hitler had killed himself the week before rather than face defeat. Tens of millions of people under Nazi control were now free. People around the world rejoiced. Hitler's reign of terror was over. The war in the Pacific ended with Japan surrendering on September 2nd, 1945, after the United States dropped two atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. World War II went down in history as the deadliest war of all time. No one knows for sure how many lives were lost. Estimates range between 40 and 50 million dead. D-Day was the turning point of World War II. On June 6, 2014, the 70th anniversary of the invasion, United States President Barack Obama praised the soldiers. The course of human history hung on this sliver of sand at Normandy, he said. Our victory in World War II decided not just a century, but shaped the security and well-being of all posterity. The end.